You know, going boating can open up a whole new world and it can take you to some amazing places, such as this. Where I am is situated at the entrance to a small river. Lots of mangrove banks, some steep channels below us, and that's where the fish will be sitting. Now the tide started to run back out. You can see by the, the way the nose of the boat's turned. And as well as that, I've got the front anchor out and a back anchor. Now the back anchor is going to keep me nice and close to this particular bank. In fact, if this bank had a road to it, I could pretty much guarantee it'd be a great spot to throw a line in as well. I've got with me some instant bait that I've already mixed up. Of course it comes out in this wonderful colour of bright red or pink. Nice texture as well, that pliable bait. Just take off a small bit. Just a little bit like that is more than enough. Now I'm going to shape that a bit like a worm or a grub by rolling it in my hands. So it's nice, long and skinny, just like that. Now from here, the hook that I'm using is a fairly decent size, about a, a size 1.0 to 2.0. And hopefully with the big fish around these particular areas that generally hang around here on the run out tide, I might be able to hook one. Now all we do is just thread it from the tip all the way around so the hook actually gets inside that pliable bait. Squeeze around the end so you get the shape of the hook and there we have it. A nice bait ready to go. And remember, instant bait is laced with ultra bite. So once those pheromones get out there, leach into the current, hopefully the fish should be around us in a small amount of time. Of course, the rig that I'm using, the trace is around 15 pounds and about 30 centimeters long. Going to a very small ball sinker and a nice size rolling swivel. That's more than enough to stop any line twists once this current starts to pick back up. And of course with my Silstar combo, I can just cast it out, let the current drift around, take it along this bank, and hopefully I'll catch myself a nice fish. Over we go. And flick him out. At the sink door. I've just got a bite now, pull the bail arm over, strike as the rod tip starts to bend around. Something's, it's, you can see the rod tip bending and we strike. Here we go. You gotta remember, yeah, I've got the fish. And try and get the fish's head to come back to me. Holy, now this is a big flathead, a big flathead. She's stirring up the bottom, just along that channel edge. Now I'm going to bring her to me comes. I don't even know if my net's going to fit in this thing. There it is. There it is. We've got a... You can still see the ultra bite. Look at that. That is a monster of a flathead. You can still see I've got my rag here. I've just got to get this fish out. A lovely fish. I've got to be careful. They've got spikes and spines all over them. Come here. A lovely fish, <laughs> caught in the net, caught on the instant bait. Oh. There we have it. I'll just get rid of this net here. I've got pellet mix all over the floor. I'm going to hold her in the mouth and take that hook out. Hook's caught right in that bottom lip where she's taken the bait in. And I've still got my instant bait up around the swivel. A lovely fish. Now one thing you'll find with a flathead of this particular size, I can tell you folks, she's a ripper. Weight, six to seven kilograms at least. Size maybe 95 centimeters long. They're very lethargic, they do one quick burst, she's all right up, one quick burst, and straight up this channel. We're going to let her go. Sweetie, a bit of kick in you. In the water you go.
flick a tail, hand out of a mouth. A lovely flathead taken on the Silstar combo. I've still got the instant bait on hook. Go out and enjoy boating. It takes you to some amazing places such as this. And with the pellet mix, some instant bait, just makes your day a lot more enjoyable.